Well, who's paying our water bill? That is the question that residents at a North Jackson apartment complex are asking tonight after they went an entire day without water. Yeah, water was finally turned back on tonight, but they don't know for how long. 16 WABT's Kendall Jones spoke with residents and with Jackson Water to find out why the water at this complex was shut off. I got enough of this. This man is Kim. I, I, I can't say nothing else. I'm, I'm really disappointed. I ain't never ever had this happen to me. Nowhere I lived in my life. Residents at the Gardenside Apartments on West Northside Drive spent most of their Tuesday with no water and management shutting them out. Gardenside's apartments is mostly home to senior citizens and disabled veterans who had no idea why the water was off. Residents say they pay their water bill through their rent. One veteran resident is Audwin Reese. He served in the Navy and has been a resident of Jackson since 2013. He says he had to go check on another elderly resident himself because she was unaware that the water had been shut off. But I'm concerned about my other veteran, but because they're in wheelchairs and stuff. And the other lady, she's about 93 years old, and, and her, her children come see her and everything, you know, and everything, but they don't know. She didn't even know her water was off when I came back from my appointment at 2.30 this evening. And I'm glad I went down there and checked on her, you know. The apartments is a major concern for Hines County District 2 Supervisor Tony Smith, who was alerted by residents of the situation and immediately sprung into action. Smith says when he arrived, he was welcomed by wooden boards from balconies hanging on by splinters, tall grass with no maintenance, and stray dogs roaming along on top of not having water on Tuesday. Smith says Gardenside hasn't paid the water bill. And I found out that apparently either the company hadn't paid the bill, so Jackson Water have given them notice they didn't pay the bill. So I came over to talk to residents and they're telling me that not only do they not have any water, but they got raw sewage backing up into their apartments. The apartment building is falling down. They got rats and they got everything. <clears throat> There's nobody in the front office. You can't get anybody. According to officials with Jackson Water, the water service was terminated after Jackson Water repeated attempts with Gardenside Management to collect on past due bills. Jackson Water said the last payment was made in February of 2017. The current balance is nearly $150,000. Smith says someone needs to be held accountable. So the problem is that there's nine veterans over here and a ton of senior citizens who can't move. They're stuck here and they pay a very high rent for what, for what they're receiving. So and this is a problem here. We reached out to Gardenside Apartments by phone and haven't gotten a response. And our emails bounced back. Reporting in Jackson, Kendall Jones, 16, WAPT News. <laughs>